welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, I want to show you something new that I picked up recently. You know I love drones because this channel is all about drones. And I also love RC cars and RC boats and planes and helicopters. I love everything. But I would say my greatest love is drones followed by RC cars. I love RC cars and I, I buy a ton of them and I have a blast with them. All sizes. But I never owned a tank. So recently my father wanted a tank for his birthday, his 91st birthday, he wanted a tank because he's ex-military. So I bought him a tank off of Amazon and it cost about $100. And I thought, eh, what's a $100 tank look like? So I looked at it and it was, it was pretty decent, but it was very plasticky. It looked like a $100 tank. So then I went on Banggood because I wanted a tank for myself. So I saw a tank on there that was at a really good price, had a ton of positive reviews, and that's what I'm gonna show you. It's this one. This is the very first tank I've ever bought. I have to lift it up carefully because it's very, very detailed and there's tiny, tiny parts on it. It's definitely not made to bash and smash. So this tank is made by the company Company, Henlong, and it's a copy of the USA M41. If you're into military stuff, you know exactly what this tank is all about. So in the 1950s, the US wanted a tank that you could transport by air. It was small enough. They wanted it to be super powerful, fit a four-man crew, and be able to do reccees. So in other words, this is a light tank. This thing here was known as the Walker Bulldog, the M41 Walker Bulldog. And that's because when it first came out, it was like a bulldog, so they called it the little bulldog. But then General Walker, who was a, a, a proponent of this tank, loved it, and it was used an awful lot with his troops. Uh, he was killed in an accident, a Jeep accident, so the troops named it the Walker Bulldog, and that's what it's known as today. Of course, this thing's no longer in service. You can find it in museums. But let me tell you about the RC version, because this thing, you know, for me, a guy that's never owned a tank before, I just think this is phenomenal. I really love this tank. First off, it's like most RC tanks on the market. It's a 1 16th scale. That's why it looks so large. 1 16th is a very good size for tanks. This one's a little bit different than a lot of tanks you would find because it's not all plastic. There's an awful lot of metal components in this. It's got metal gears inside, so you don't have to worry about the gears jamming up and breaking. If you know if, you, if it hits something and the engine's working, uh, it won't break because it's all metal. It's got metal sprockets. It's got metal tracks. It's really good. It's got a smoke system, a dual smoke system. So each of these exhausts will shoot out smoke. I'll show you that in a second. It has a sound system in it that you can change to any type of tank. Well, not any type, but one of four different tanks you can change the sound system to. It shoots projectiles. You have six millimeter BBs that it shoots 25 meters away and it's pretty strong. And do not put your hand in the front when you fire because it hurts, I'm speaking from experience. So if you know somebody else with an RC tank that's super good quality, then that tank probably has an infrared system for tank games. So this unit comes with an infrared system. In the front, you can't see it here, but there's an infrared cannon that shoots out in case you have somebody else you wanna play tank games with. And when there's a hit, it's scored. And on this unit, you can put a little infrared uh, detector that fits up top. It's included with the kit and you can play tank games. I only have one tank, so I can't play. The turret on top can turn 320 degrees total. And I believe up and down, it goes about 20 degrees. So when you drive this along the ground you could drive it like a real tank in that the turret is moving independently of the forward direction of the tank itself which looks really cool so everything you see here is included with the kit and when you get the kit it looks shiny new it's up to you to either paint it put the stickers on like I did, put all the small detailed pieces on this thing, which I did. And uh, since I'm not a model maker, I use crazy glue. I know a lot of you are cringing crazy glue. <laughs> That's all I had. Anyways, hey, it worked. I put all the pieces on. A lot of the pieces just snap in place, but some of them you have to glue, but it looks really good. Matter of fact, the crazy glue, I think makes it look more weathered where I had it on my fingers, touching the plastic and messing up the plastic. Hey, it looks good to me. So you do get a remote control with it and it's a full function remote control that's dedicated just for this here tank and all the buttons are well labeled you get the battery that goes inside you get the charger you can run this thing on the included battery for the specs say you can run it for 20 minutes it's a big battery it's a two cell but here's what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna power it on I'll show you how it sounds you can control the volume on this one which I love so I'm gonna power on the remote and then I'm gonna turn the power on the tank. It's underneath, there's a little switch underneath, I have to find it. Now the tank has a bit of weight to it. It's not a light, cheap, plasticky tank. Now you'll know 
it's powered on when uh, there's a camera down here I'll show you so I'm gonna spin it and just show you you'll see a light flashing at the front and if I spin it around some more get a good look at it you'll see lights at the rear they're flashing so flashing lights indicate that uh, it's powered on all right so let's start it up there's a start button over here and i do have the volume set on this on the lowest possible level there's seven levels of volume it can get so loud that you can't even talk over it so i'm going to have it on the lowest one because this mic has got to pick up my voice and the sound of this here we go so here's the start button i'm going to start the motors and when it starts up the engine will start it will it should start shooting smoke out the rear there we go you can see the smoke coming out the rear She's ready to go. And that looks really cool if you move it. I'll just take the joystick, I'll move it forward. There we go. Check that out, eh? Isn't that so nice? Oh, to me, it's, as, a, as a kid, I would have loved this thing. Now it can move pretty fast. You have different levels of speed. And the joysticks on here are all designed to be uh, designed so that the more you push the joystick, the faster everything works. So in other words, if I want to rotate the turret here, I'm going to turn it and I'll turn it nice and slow like a tank would. I can turn it fast. I can turn it slow. There we go. I can move it up or down, down and back up. And then I can move, turn it again really fast. There we go. I can turn the smoke off. The tank, as you already saw, I can move it forward. I'll show you that more in the future. Uh, the sounds. So right now you have these sounds. So here's the machine gun. Say you want a different sounds. On here you can change your sounds. I'm in a different sound now. So watch when I move certain things. Different sound. And if I move it forward, different sound. And if I fire the machine gun, sounds more like a Hollywood movie. And I can change them again. Here we go. I'll give you different sounds again. And the machine gun. And this is the fourth sound, so this should be the last one. Oh, this one here is the sound of an M1A1 Abrams, which has like a jet turbine in it. So that's why it sounds like a jet turbine. So watch if I move it forward. You can hear the turbine going. And of course, you're very, very quiet. Much, much quieter tank because it's very modern in M1A1. Let's go back to the default sound. There we go. So this is pretty sweet. And of course the cannon fires, so let me show you that. So to fire the cannon, I'm just gonna back it up so I get it in frame. Bring it down a bit, and then I'll back it up. All right, so hopefully this cannon here, you can see everything. The controller is designed for safety so that you don't accidentally shoot somebody in the eye or yourself. You have to hold two buttons down at once. So watch this. Okay, two buttons at once, fire through the paper towel without hitting my fingers. There we go. So you probably can't see it, but it goes right through the paper towel. It can go through a paper towel. Can it go through a piece of paper? <laughs> Let's see that. Okay, solid paper, no hole in it. Let's try this. Yep, <laughs> there's a hole right through the center. That went through. So the BBs in here, they shoot quite, quite powerfully to get up to 25 meters. So definitely don't get your eye in the way. I'm gonna shut this down. Well, here, let me just bring it back forward. And I'll shut it down. There we go. So this is my first RC tank. I know nothing about the RC tank hobby. My whole life has been drones and RC cars. I'll tell you everything you want to know about RC cars and trucks because I have a ton of them. Uh, and I'm starting to get into helicopters and I do have RC boats. But uh, this is... Uh, uh, I'm like a kid at Christmas with this thing. I love this here tank. It's so it's so cool. I just, yeah, it's really good. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some footage of me driving this around, uh, driving around the house, outdoors, so you can check it out. Just a little bit of short footage. Then come back to me. I'll show you what you get in the box. And um, then I'll tell you where you can find it. So check this out.
And now a super quick Captain Drone unboxing. So like all my unboxings, let me show you the box. Here it is right here. And inside the box, you have your supersized tank. 1 16th scale. You'll notice no stickers on it, no details on it, because you have to do that yourself after you take it out of the box. The smoke will operate for about one hour, and then you add more oil to keep it going. The included battery is a two-cell lithium-ion battery at 1800 milliamp hours. If you have your own battery, you need this type of connector right here. A USB charger is included. All the buttons on the controller are nicely labeled so that you know the function of each button. Six AA batteries are required, and they're not included. An infrared detector is included for tank war games. You'll also find a box of 6mm tank ball bullets. And now if you're like me, you want to take all these accessories and stick them all over the tank with glue or just snap them in place, but you can paint them if you wish. Two manuals are included. You have one for the tank and how the tank functions, and then you have one for the remote control and how the remote control functions. Finally, just for the fun of it, they throw in a tank target for target practicing. All right, so my final thoughts on this tank are I love it. I just love the detail on it. I love everything about it. I really like it. But then again, I'm probably not the guy to ask about RC tanks because I'm a drone guy. You know, that's what I do. I fly drones and everything like that. I can tell you all about RC cars, but probably not a lot about RC tanks, but this one here I really like. So links are below. There's probably a discount code because I asked Banggood. I said, hey, I got this. Uh, could you give me a discount code if I show it on my channel and uh, maybe other people would like to buy it. So give me a discount code and they did. So check out there should be a discount code below and uh, see if this is a vehicle or a tank for you i personally don't think it's very expensive compared to that hundred dollar tank i bought off of amazon this is like night and day that hundred dollar tank yeah that's a toy that's plasticky uh but this this looks like the real thing and it drives and works like the real thing it's really good all right guys hope you enjoyed this video it was just a fun video i do have many more rc products in the world of rc cars and trucks coming up on this channel because companies know i love them so they are starting to send them to me and i think i might even have some military ones so you'll see those coming in the future as i receive them but for now i say thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you in a future video with many more reviews of what the heck ever. All right, guys, take care. Bye.